we are already in a zone where we are seeing increased climatic events. Storms, floods, hurricanes. There's climatic events every single year. I don't call it climate change. It's change for those who are not affected by the crisis. So for us, it's a crisis. Barbados has been a leader in the hemisphere with respect to the extent to which we've sought to protect our coast, to deal with the erosion, especially for our beaches on the west coast. The decade of ecosystem restoration is critical for Latin America and the Caribbean, and for this part of the world, which is perhaps richer than any other part of the world in terms of ecological diversity, it is absolutely critical that we get it right. We wanted our major transformational project to be one that treated to adapting to the climate crisis, what we call roofs to reefs, because it literally goes to our ability to secure our roofs right back down to our ability to rebuild our reefs. The G20 countries have caused 80% of this. I suffer from it. I now have to go and clean up what you have dumped in my yard. Our people are watching and our people are taking note. We will ask for the funds for adaptation because we don't have confidence that we will be successful in the mitigation. We pray, but prayer and hope are not strategies. Failure to provide the critical finance and that of loss and damage is measured, my friends, in lives. Until we recognize that what is needed to close the gap is far, far more, then we are still at risk of having failed states and generating climate migration we will probably be able to make it with respect to renewable energy and we'll make it probably for the transport sector. Overall, we'll probably be 70% to where we want to go when you take into account the industrial and the agricultural practices. We are hopeful that we can remove those as well by 2035. The one UN agency that's absolutely critical to us as we fight this crisis is in fact the United Nations Environment Programme. We see UNEP as a critical partner in helping us find a pathway to being able to unlock the fiscal resources that are necessary to make sure that in this interdependent world, we do not fall. What I really, really want is for us to be able to have a sense of responsibility towards our environment, but also to the future generations. And we've come here today to say, try harder, try harder.